So welcome to Squad Europe. We're on Goose Bay Invasion version 4 with a United States Marine Corps fashion. I say I really like this addition to the game. Even though they just start basically on a freaking spawn in the middle of the, the ocean here, it's still very very nice little change to to the uh, you know aspect of the game. Take a look at that at the map here. We have a west and east push coming towards uh, fifth wing here. <laughs> the Russians defending. We have squad three from the Russian team moving out to the west side. That they can kind of, I guess, predict that enemies will be coming from. Standing by. Oh, and D coming up here on the west side. Defense for the Russian team. Going up against... Whatever the name of that vehicle is. Looks... Ugly. <laughs> it, looks, it looks cool, but looks ugly. And yeah, they get some support here, but... Uh, I have to take a look after this. Moral Sutton laying down a lot of firepower into this uh, tree line here. A lot of Russians running for cover and going down. Found any lodge you probably have on the northeast of the. Uh, take that, that engine. Copy. By the Pope, it smokes them both off. I'm more so oh, yeah, that's when we knocked out a uh, Spurdo uh, have to uh, uh, move back a bit. We killed him. Radio have been found. About seven here sneaking in on the east side. Don't think they have been spotted yet. See, uh, 
think Stegas and Jack and a few other from the Russian team are gonna go from the flank coming in from the north side of the road here. Try to wipe these guys, maybe go around and find the rallies. There's a, there's one with a gun on it and one that doesn't have a gun. The one that has a gun cannot place radio. Exactly. Oh, fuck. Okay. What? We cannot build that would be that I wanted to do, so cancel that. Not going on the attack. We have the Russian fort on the north side of Fitwing that has been located by Squad 6 and Command Squad for the USMZ. Sound and light. Well, there was a fob that was supposed to go down somewhere for the attacking team that they couldn't because of the and vehicle they had. So they have LAVs 25s. I guess those were the one we saw before, and the AA VP. This command squad pushing towards this form of the Russian have is deactivated by proximity and radio will start to go down. Rail is up there, close by. I have to say that there's a good push uh, coming in now from the Americans. They've got north control as this fob is going down, they have east control. They're fighting for west. They did not get a fob down on the west side, but... Squad 4, if they can push in quickly enough to... To delay this fob coming up, I think... Uh, yeah, this gap will be uh, will be in the bag. That's where they parked the lodgy. Yeah. Now I guess that's farther up in the sky with Shem and Lou. Yeah. And those guys are yeah, freaking annoying to play against. They're really accurate. Shem is a really accurate as a door gunner and Mr. Father here. Oh, they did actually manage to take out the tail rotor. Uh, I was about to say, and uh, no, I'm your father is a great pilot. No, I got my tail on. No. Ah. Oh. Yeah, we from the radio. Scottish. Okay. Save the hell from crashing, but it couldn't really nail the landing. It's very difficult. So Mine this fob is going down. Nice. And I think uh, that squad 3 or uh, and 4 needs to kind of fall back or maybe down. just go back to fishing village because I think 5th wing is a lost case. A really nice first push here from the American team. They divided this push for three front. They had one coming north, one east and one west. Very heavy response. They they managed to bait out of the defenders to push out on the west side, and as they say, they thought them off. Couldn't get control on the west or, side, uh, but LAV for help. They gain north and east. If our team needs a uh, logic, then we can bring it. And without any, they have rallies still though that they can use to try to contest fifth wing. Still, I think if the USMC is just uh, up to pace here a little bit, start getting into the cap, they will start capping it. The fobs are going up around fishing village for the, from the Russian team. And we have squad 3 and 4 working their way back towards the uh, 5th wing. This must be the... What's the name of it again? AAVP? Right. I like those splash covers or 
I have the flaps. Yeah, west the west of 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 But beach landing, a la Second World War. Give me some of uh, all my beach uh, vibes. Oh, that's that's a terrible sound. I mean, terrifying. Sounds yeah, really heavy. Yeah, it's I think they called in that they took damage from their own vehicle. Yeah, though. These guys over here that was on five wing. This should be them capping. Yeah, they are. So, Russians have probably moved on. They know that 5th wing is a lost cause. Let's see what they're doing. If he's actually gonna try to bring that to us 5th wing somehow, but... Duran. Um, oh, Dren takes a rocket to the face from someone. This foolish just drives by this hab. It's not the right camo netting for this this location here. It would be really cool if you can, or if you could select what type of camo on it as you place the map. Though I personally, I I I can buy and I get I like the the idea of the camo net. I don't like however the freaking one way mirror thing they added on. I think it's stupid. The radio have been marked here, and we have a few guys that looks like they're no, they're not gonna go for it. I doubt that the Russians will be able to push into the cab and stop it. Lottie marker northwest of Firelings is accurate. River. On that. To film with the hat. On that, on that. This looks kind of like some Star Wars thing. Squad two is uh, blocking the bridge to the. I think that's west, right? Uh, the boat takes a rocket to the face from a uh, monster. Gaff, Bib Jagger probably returning to the ship for repairs. Right, last they are finishing up this cab. 
I'll just have to take a quick look inside this aircraft carrier. They're still spawning west of Fywin. Hostiles are already at ship uh, fishing village. There's still uh, already people moving in the objective. Uh, repair station. Hey Jeff, Scott 7. This oh, looks awesome. Um, Scott 7, Let's get back to it. Oh, the Russians are taking down this farm that they ha the Americans had east side of Fishing Village. Kind of set them back to Squad to the start. No fobs up for the. Attackers at the moment. Hat coming up against the PTR. You know, PTR east of uh, five wing. Nice hit by Sunlight. Where is it? Yeah. East side. It's uh, Mark. It'll drive by there. I'm lucky that they didn't get tracked. Check behind us. Is there, is there a bit here? Oh, and there goes the second hit, and they're on fire. I think that was Conrad. Quasi-Nail has got to get out and see if they can repair it in time. Quasi goes down, and the BTR is down. One thirty, mother was there. Just blew up. I'm not sure if that's the one. BTR destroyed. Yep. Oh, nice. We're shooting at the LAV with just the MG. Here. Whack that dude gets whacked. Let's see, what are the Americans planning? They have a logic coming now. Alright, so they get a land base, land uh, HQ after they take first cap. Maybe? I didn't really pay attention. That's what it looked like. I think that would... It's, it's a nice idea. I think it would be cool if it were a bit closer to the first cap. Kind of like they take the first cap and then they establish the HQ over there. Take a look at the first uh, first camp. We have uh, advantage kill wise for the attackers. Medic's doing a great job for the attackers. Already up with almost 50 revives against uh, 15, but you know. Just conserve things now, guys. I'll wait for the flanking fobs. When you're losing the fight and you're defending, you kind of don't, you don't have the same time to just lay and wait for medics. And invasion, you have tickets to waste. Kind of, I want to throw bodies in the first gap because so you don't want to lose the first or second gap. Missing from the defending team here. They know they can't get fifth one back. It's invasion, so I don't know why they're not having anything here on the north side of this vast open uh, lake here. 
it's a obvious obvious position of where the enemy teams probably are likely to pass or try to flank around the north side. We'll probably place a fob somewhere up here. I don't know, because I'm predicting the enemies. We're going to try to build an attack fob somewhere close by in this direction and use those three lines over here to come in back uh, into fission. Now you can just spawn in behind them. Maybe somewhere over here, a bit off. Oh, what was it? That's just a visual bug. So I am curious to see, the we're talking about flank fob, and here we see it from squad 7. We're going far around. some good discipline on this team they're not just pushing randomly we're told to hold for the flank fobs We've got one coming up on the east side one coming up kind of north or northeast to and north and a what were they called now again they were called aapvp no that was a lodgy one aavc like this attacking team setting them up first attacking fobs not too close that's a, a very reoccurring thing when you see on some servers where they're attacking fobs they try to place them too close or maybe even the logic gets blown up or drivers get shot up before they even get a fob out much better to build it further away then use the momentum push a bit take some more ground and you can move up and build another one closer as you're in control of the area this Logi might be driving straight into this fob. I wonder if they would just let it pass. They do not want to give away their position here too early. wonder if... This is unfortunate for the attackers. Ah, that Logi definitely should have been uh. spotted. I think it's good that they're chasing that logi because if if he would have continued uh smoky would have continued in this area towards this form the what was his name volish could most likely call in that there's enemy logic coming toward the north side now he might be calling in that they're chasing him instead so they think that they're safe and here we have the west, west flank coming in. Squad 12, try to build an FOB uh, a little yes. farther from the fishing. That's nice. If they can get a FOB up or if they will get fought off. They are backed up by a second uh, AAVC. Oh, they're shooting at friendlies right now. Sir. Oh, Banash with the hat. doesn't look like they will get this west fob up but this is drawing a lot of attention on and it could be opening up for these guys to come in and if they're lucky they could find this uh, fob I don't know if their communication is that working because uh, they just uh, drove into the same kind of ambush there's uh, a lot of enemy infantry around uh, there, the communication comes in a little bit too late. Let's see if Squad 4 can yeah, make squad it. Squad 12, so Dan is coming in to assist as well. 
Squad 9 is coming a bit behind the left. See if Squad 4 can get this hab up. And if Squad 7 will find defensive fob of the Russian team here, northwest of Fishing. Hey man, I think there's a vehicle southeast of you. We got hit by a, what I think is a tiger on our run, run out. Smoke is down, but Mr. B set. Let's call him John. CSF John is digging up the hab as we speak. What monster is moving up to investigate? Let's see uh, if he can. Now. He wants squad nine to come in and assist, or better back block. What monster needs someone to back him up here? Take out mm, uh, block this uh, hab coming up. But this hab has been spotted by the Russians. And the Americans have. I don't know. Let's see if they. Let's see. Can't see it yet. Might miss it. But yeah, the camo netting on this this map is definitely the wrong color. <laughs> There's enemy tiger between fishing village and the uh, hab. We'll place a hab on uh, on the radio. See this tree line here, the natural pathway from the north side into fishing village. Should always be uh, at least one guy holding this tree line. Yep. See the eastern kind of push from uh, weather station are getting close to as well. They might try to save this radio. If they actually, I think they replaced it. I think it was in here before. There's a lot of things going on now. They're throwing a lot of uh, audibles here for for the defenders. So after this hab was called out, you can see a massive, a massive response from the Russian team. They want to take it out quickly, and, and the Americans are just getting slaughtered in there. They kind of get out. But the amount of players that the Russians are spending, just they're not pushing in, but sitting here, uh, they could use this time to either find this hab or push in further from the east or from the north. So the Russians really need to push in at, like right now. They need to finish this fight so they have time to uh, time to redirect their focus and fight somewhere else because they're going to start losing the cap. Logic comes up as well for the attack is very nice. Had been marked. Logic has been marked. This is a very nice diversion working in favor for the attackers right now. There's too many people just uh, camping it instead of actually moving in to finish it. They want, as the defending team, they just want to finish the fight, neutralize the threat, and then move on. They are tying up their resources here and manpower on that fob. And. Oh, we have a BTR somewhere. Right? No, oh, that wasn't the BTR. It's the LAV. The major player in Yellow Spectre. Yeah, I'll drop it now. Is that Tiger dead? Yes, yes, yeah, Tiger down, Tiger down. Really nice playing here for the attackers using this kind of failed fob to their advantage by just, yeah. By chance or by plan, I don't know, but right now it's working in their favor using this as a diversion. Look at all of these Russians up here. 
just completely forgot to cover this area, which would be my number one priority uh, if I were defending. But it's easy, okay. as you know, for me to just call it out Copy from here. Ticket. Uh, we do see the Russians Ranger, are coming back. How many percent on Earth roll? And it's uh, not over yet. Left. If they get this hab up, uh, I'll say it's, it will be over for sure. But from this position, the Ru Russians can cut them off. And uh, gonna bleed them out here, so... Can you mark the PDR? The attackers need a fob to uh, reinforce from, keep the push going. And Clayman goes down. Dashio needs to get this hammer. Just smoke and take a gamble. Don't think the Americans can hold this cap. It was a very nice push. Uh, guard tower, whatever you want to call that. Goes up from the Russian team. It's a nice position. Dr. Gav is trying to hold on to push. Uh, counter push from the Russian team, but there's just too many of them. I, get, I bet he will go down quite quickly, but LAV comes in to back him up. That can slow them down a bit as well. Russian LATs and hats need to get to work. They don't have a lot of time. They have stopped Americans from capping and this for have been delayed but by delay man. And that could be the reason to the reason why the Russians have not lost this cap yet. They did not get this northern fob up, which was too bad for the attackers. And they are struggling here on the east side. Yeah, we need more bodies on the cap on freezing. Let's yeah, I'm getting pissed up. One of those close but no cigar moments here. There was a really nice push from the Americans. I really feel like it kind of deserved getting that cap but he could not get a a second for Bob to keep the pressure up now, we're rushing fishing again. Oh. now they're gonna have a hard time making the approach from this northern fob when the whole Russian team is away and they're just slowly encircling fishing village clearing it out and now I think Wackadoodle is just waiting to see. When he sees this first stage uh, of the hab goes up, he's gonna move uh, in and, and he's gonna kill him. So we can see it now. It's the northern one, and there's enemies between it and the cap, so we need some people support. Oh, he's not moving in. I sending him the medic instead. From the tab and use the rallies. Be able to hit from different angles. Oh, he found it. He found him anyways. So that hab will not go up for the attackers, and I think they were kind of betting on it. And now they really are in trouble. They have a long, difficult way to get back into fishing village, and with less than a hundred tickets remaining, that's going to be hard. Good job from the Russians to get back uh, into the fight after that. Okay guys, we need to all focus on the fishing once again. I think that where there's chance. I don't think the Russian team will we're letting them back in now so easy. This north approach will be guarded. East side will be contested. West side. 
I mean, yeah, they, they won't let this go now. Maybe with help of an artillery barrage creeping, they could try to push down from the north side again. I like the the uniforms of the USMCs. It's nice. It's not as glowing as the normal American uniform. I guess the the army. Six to one tickets. I think that's it. I had such high hopes for this. The Americans are did almost everything right. When you're playing against uh, a good defense, uh, like team on defense, you kind of only get one shot. Enemy hub north northwest of uh, facing village. Enemy hub. If the Americans can take out this fob pretty fast without losing too many tickets, they still have a chance. They need some some support. Yeah, they have it. Also, it's hard to keep up the push now when you. I have to wait for medics much more because you can't risk uh, yeah, we're really bleeding out of tickets. We're gonna run out of tickets soon. Start attacking them. Looks like uh, Squad 4 kind of accounting with them capping fishing village and they're now needed on fishing village but can't really do anything to get there. They need to get a pickup by someone. There's another 20 tickets that will be lost for the attackers when this radio bleeds out. There's 10 tickets, I'm guessing, for these. No, 5 or, or 10. Save our hub. 
or at least try. Uh, and we have four run, we point the fob as well. The fob is under control now for the Americans, and we have. Oh, I see one rally for the Russians inside cap. This might not be over yet. I know there's a PTR on the way, it's holding holding back a bit. Squad four, I'd say we should ask for a pickup so they could get to where they need to be. Thirty-one tickets. We have one more chance to get this cap, and I think it would be. Very nice if they did. Because I'm enjoying this game. I, I would like to see how they will attack the other caps. Let's see, there's... Command Squad... Five from defensive team. Only... With a rally. Squad 4 coming in there from the north side. They've been, not give up 29 tickets. been booting it all the way. Need to be careful with that LAV. If they lose that, that's a lot of tickets. But at the same time, they need to get the gap. We're capping. We're taking fiction. We're capping. Just coming, Barato, not to give up. See if Norma that comes up from the rear here can do some work. He has a lot of uh, Americans on this little rock formation here. If he can take out the guys in the tower and get up in the tower himself, he can probably take out five, six at least. And that might be enough. I take some one, change the possession. Missed attack immediately, responds to it. Now I'm gonna lay in wait. Oh, he could take out a few more, but this attack would be ready to counter. Smokes out. Goes down. Looks like one rally. Wave managed to spawn in here. And squad 6 and 3. Almost neutralized. 28 tickets left. There's a lot of uh, down Americans. Squad 4 all the way up there on the north side. Intercepted something. Two man squad of something. But they also need to get back into the cap. Cap seemed to be almost cleared out. Playman, last one alive, I'd say. Ah, oh, there's two, one more in this red building here. Neutralized, 27 tickets. You okay? I think I cleared it, I think I cleared it. No, on the stairs, on the stairs. Did you trade it or what? I don't know, I died. Maximilian and Sorbio on the south side all need to be careful with this LV. No ATs around. Oh, there's ATs coming in from the east side. Fob coming up southeast of fishing. They do have time to reach the cap and stop Please the don't cap. Don't We haven't put up uh, this fob. Yeah, don't rush the vehicles in there. Don't have to take it Oh, there's a lot of lag for some reason coming up right now. Oh, one hit on the LAV. Now what I have, guys. 
90% cap. These guys just need to get into the cap. They don't have time to wait for it. They need to run. Run. There's a bit DR on the hub. I'm lagging like crazy the, uh, right now. Too fast. And they get the cap. Great job. We need to move out. Don't stay on the tree. Nice. Guys, it's just respawn on the next FOB. On the northeast FOB. Scott, are you taking a flag? Nice. Copy. Everyone's spawning. It was. Guys, if anyone dies. I did not believe that that would happen. FOB. That was so close. And I think Enemy there on EA. if you are one of the Russian players here, if you look back on this, I think it's better if we take down the north side radio. If these guys would have just yeah, run into the cap, they could probably have stopped that cap zone. I cannot destroy it. I just hope that this lag kind of yeah, cools off. I cannot destroy that uh, radio. There's a PTR roaming around. The mango. Weather station. It's marked. Nice reaction on Katoy and gets the kill. This should be them capping yeah, it. And they are capping. Now, how quickly can the Russian team re. Reposition themselves. Fob's been taken out up here. They're looking for the fob. We have a few vehicles coming down towards uh, uh, the weather station. From the east, from the east. Yeah, yes. Okay, I'm gonna set them up 30. I think I'm going to restart maybe. of an offensive flag. Focus on the east and the north. Seem to have helped a little bit. We got a BTR north, north, northwest of the uh, weather. Mark, it's not accurate. I wonder who's doing the logistics on the defense team. This form was just like one minute too late. That's all you need. West, guys. That's why in this game you need to have quick uh, reaction to oh, time here. BTR fold back, but there's it. It's gonna be difficult to get in from this east, especially <laughs> with the RT coming, but southeast. Yep, thank you. They can't find a way. But with that hab being so close, I, I don't think that uh, Russians can stop them from getting this cap. Is it to go the hab? Be the Tiger to stay to stop them. Oh, and the logic comes up from behind. Don't know if they know that there's enemy loaded. Will, will be decisive for who's going to win this game. That's the attack uh, being overrun, I presume. So, USMC team have to react to this and clear out this hab quickly. No, 
north side of where we He's coming back online, but if top not gives up moving, then it will be blocked by vicinity again. And there it's... We're no, it's not blocked it. yet. But st we still need more men. Oh, nice. Up is bla uh, blocked again. Online and but the station is fully camped. Uh, how close is the gap? Heavy. Nice. That was a really uh, nice push west of uh, from the Russian trying to gain on that hab, and they almost made it. I don't see any no, yeah. Russian team seems like they oh, have not really right, had time to keep up with the pace between uh, fishing and weather station. It's the one fob north of Shimek. From south. But you definitely need at least two. To control the east side. And the west side. But they will be there ready to defend it. It's a very open cap to get into. From south. You need to cross open terrain Looks like there's an enemy all around it to get in. For now. It's landing in the far north, Vehicles though. might be a very uh, decisive thing here. And also, the Americans have to get their whole team up there. If they're gonna run it, they're gonna have to deal with these guys. And also, this fob, if that doesn't go down, they could use this to get in behind the American push from the south side. Squad 12 are about to run into some enemies. Enemy landed in the far north of Shimmick, mar marked on map at the train yard. Taking fire. Two guys are down, three guys are down. They're getting out. Kurzu and Finland. Masku. Going up against the uh, duck, duck. Of now. No, squad dead and squad Gear Fox and Kungar and is going uh, around to back him up as well. Uh, failed. We got found by enemies. I don't think that they will get this uh, lodge out of here. Gear Fox is going around. Oh, beautiful TL. That was that. Now. Squad 1 getting a heli down. I wonder if they're going to try to build anything up there. Definitely have been spotted, and you can see you have Russians moving off towards that direction. So, radios down. That's twenty tickets. Also, twenty Let's tickets down here. Like I don't know. They have to dig up the app and they have to defend it and wait for people to. Oh, man, G already goes down. PB coming up against Fnus and Dark We're gonna and take down Tricky. The, um, radio on weather station. Uh, Tinky, sorry. Uh, I think PB is it's about to die. The northwest of. Never mind, it's not coming up. They stormed the infantry. Win some, you lose some. It could have worked, but that's the downside with the helis. There is the big beacon telling the enemies that if you were landing, they're going to investigate, investigate the area. Or at least they should. But you can also use that to make, you know, decoy landings. Just uh, pretend to build shit, touch down, wait a few seconds, and take off. 
lure the enemies out and away from their defensive camp. Guys, let us taste destroy the radio. We already found the ham. Yeah, don't stay there. Just dig it out the FOB and go. Oh yeah, this is is a annoying cap to attack. It's kind of like some caps around in GFDF guy. No matter which side you attack from, you end up having to kind of cross the open field, or there's just like a small clusters of tree, which uh, is very easy to hold for the enemy team. You need a superior, superior firepower. You need the vehicles to kind of pin the defenders, push them back, make sure that they cannot win the long range fight. I wonder if the Americans were able to dig down their own radio here, or if actually the Russian took it. I think it was close into the area here where Neck is. So they might actually have lost 20 tickets on that radio. Lee coming in on the west side of Shimmy. And I bet that there will be. Russians rushing. Vinden already going for it. Boot monster trees, north of it. Man. Too many trees. Go closer. Oh yeah, this will not work out. Okay. Another twenty tickets that they will lose. Ah, uh, come on, please don't do this, sir. Oslo running right past Winden. But face mode goes down. And Winden gets taken out, but there's no one now. No one to help the commander build the hab even if he plays his one so. Yeah, well I think that was a bit careless. They they built the fob right over here. And then like three hundred meters south of it, try again. As they know that the enemies are up here, so uh, I mean they have to try. I think they're feeling under pressure as well, but yeah, I think that was a bit uh, on the verge of more reckless than. The fob on the south. That was a long shot. Can also be uh, removed. By the way, guys. Yeah, no, they have infantry everywhere. No matter where we drop a fob, they'll immediately find it. Need to go further away. Uh... Same thing that we talked to uh, about f fishing. So one east of the point? When they built the first fobs, you know, up here Fine, and tried, on there. Went there with a the tiger, they also got killed. They can't get too close, well, they need to start from somewhere. No, north, north, they, north they have their own fob. They have their own fob um, somewhere on that radio marker in it, at the train yard. Uh -huh. That heli touched down. There, um, right. under the cap popped up. Maybe getting a fob a bit further away is the way to go. Uh, looks like we have to wait for Squad 7 to build a hub. Just don't Where is leave Squad 7? Yes, uh, we can build a hub further away and then use rallies as to admit. Way to attack. Yeah. I don't think that's. Yeah. Just it's, don't it's, keep pushing the same direction that they have a solid defense. That's just wasting tickets. It's going to be a Sorry, time. Sorry, they got my radio on the west. I mean, I, I I will not count out this team. I have done it already, and you know, got it thrown back into my face. But 85 tickets, gonna lose that. So that's 65 tickets. Even if they do the smart thing against this well-rounded defense team and build one further out, uh, I don't okay. I don't know if they have the time to do a, maybe one the, solid push, kind of get a fob further closer, and then. Uh, Pushing behind that. I mean, it's, it's it's possible, but it's all about conserving tickets until they can get those folks no up and 
There's a lot of a uh, lot of Americans dying oh, still. Found, yeah, it's on the south side, going south. Do you, do you need? Hey, so if you wanna join in on the fun, we have a uh, clan night on squad Europe every Thursday. Yeah, 30 mils on the south right now, continuing south. Discord link will be in the description. And we currently Careful have 10. Or no, a 13, lot of 12, things. Uh, uh, in front of you, there's a 30 come on, Father, I'm trying to talk here. Thank you. So we have a lot of things going on right now in the Discord. It might not be showing that much yet, but in the background, there's a lot of things going on. We're working on going back up north. a lot of uh, a lot of stuff for you guys to so join the Discord, so you keep updated on uh, what's going on, and you uh, you won't regret it. Yeah, Clan Knights are on Thursdays on Squad Europe. Bring your your little group. Bring your clan. This is the night where we actually. Uh, help people move between the teams, make, trying to do our best to make sure that you get to play with your clan or your squad and still keep balanced as much as possible. And balance doesn't mean that just because you lose one game you're gonna have to switch over that because that's not how it works. We have active admins keeping you know, track on why people are losing the game. Was it a rush decision? Or is it just that one team is actually just miles ahead? Usually it's just that one team made some bad calls and that's they lose and get rolled, so... Anyway! Uh, squad six. However, there is a rep station on that fuckish RB back. I think I think it looked like it hit the, the tracks, but I guess it not. to five tickets uh, yeah there's there's no way now no way for the USMC to get in the cap and take it before they lose those tickets fob coming up on the east side I think this is the right call just they should have done that done a coordinated push the first time they, j they wanted to keep up the pressure from taking water uh, uh, weather station and, and they went for it straight yeah. away now they're going further away to kind of come in behind the enemy's uh, defensive uh, perimeter. But it's just too late. Another fob coming up. Defensive fob close east side, so yeah. Don't waste vehicles from now on. Play the vehicles safely, please. Got We're one dead, last Bango. push We're coming dead. in. Okay. One last mass attack. If they're the full team pushing. Get all the vehicles out. Need to make sure they don't lose any fobs. There's I like can't, they're not giving up. Gonna fight to the end. Oh, it actually hits. Command, command, there's some infantry coming in your direction, marked on the helmet.
Oh, I don't need it. I need radio. I would have loved to hear the other team's comms when they were about to lose fish in the first, after the first push and when they were losing a weather station quickly afterwards. I'm very impressed by the first first attack on fifth wing, how they set up the the first assault there with taking on west, east and north. They couldn't break through on the west side, but they used that to get in from the north and east, which was a very nice As we are waiting for the Americans to bleed out, let's take a look here on the scoreboards. So in that case, I won't miss anyone when the game is over. Looks like I missed the hell of a fight up here.